The uh, project is on is Wava's Camp for Girls. They're a uh, summer camp um, education program. They have two campuses on the uh, Demerscotta Lake in Jefferson and Nobleboro. The site was a place that had some old bunkhouses and there's a lot of history in those bunkhouses. Part of the goal of the project was to replace those with the same sort of spirit and essence that was there. And this site in particular where the building is is about Oh, about 100 feet from the water. The key program element to this project is the outside space. So, you know, Maine, we don't really think about the connection so much, or we don't have the luxury of designing outside space. But in this case, it's a summer use. And so the connection between the three buildings becomes key. The deck space is where the staffers come to congregate and you know, share a meal or hang out. We've had a history of a few projects together over the last um, five years. We have a relationship where I understand what their key objectives are with their programs. Also, just previously had a successful dormitory. Combining those two factors, this um, became a successful project for my firm. The three buildings, the way they sit on the site, they're sort of tucked down, um, sort of nestled into the landscape. So the space around them, along with the, the placement of the three structures, are slightly skewed and juxtaposed, so they're not really orthogonal. They're placed in sort of a natural development as they would have been developed over years, but sort of conceived of at the same time. The client's favorite part about the project is, you know, the result, which is, you know, these buildings that have the essence of what was there. And I think they're quite pleased with uh, the way that it turned out. It's always, uh, what did I learn on this one that I'll take forward, right? You know, it's about teamwork, you know, it's about the players of the project. How did people communicate? How did it all come together? Was the process successful? I think in this one, it was very successful. Communication is always um, key to the success of a project. The primary funders for the um, project are the Haynes family and the, the Kaplan family. Um, without their generosity, the project you know, wouldn't have happened. Um, the owner, um, Kiev Wavis Education, the project's design team, Lincoln Haney Engineers, the um, Site Civil, Gartley Dorsky Engineers from my office, um, Jennifer Wace for technical assistance, the builder, Bruce Lauka Inc. from Rockport. That's the success of the project right there.